let's talk about second class liver what it is exactly we can define second class liver this way a liver in which load lies between the fulcrum and effort is called second class liver and its example are wheelbarrow nutcracker lemon squeezer door bottle opener stapler etc are second class liver this is not cotter and how it is second class of liver here it is fulcrum which doesn't move and load is in the middle it is not and effort is applied in this place and that's why load lies between fulcrum and effort that's why this is second class of liver now lemon squeezer here lemon is placed in the middle and here we are applying effort and this is the load lemon itself is load and this is fulcrum at which the lever doesn't move and this is second class lever because load lies between fulcrum and effort in the same way wheelbarrow is another example of second class of lever here the wheel take rest on the ground and it doesn't move and this is fulcrum and this is the load the material which is kept in it is load and force is applied at this place that's why load lies between the effort and fulcrum so this is second class of lever there are other example also let's take another example this is a door door is a second class lever because the weight of the door itself is a load and here we'll apply effort at the end and the hinge acts as what fulcrum this way load lies between effort and fulcrum that's why it is second class lever stapler how it is second class lever because effort is applied at one end and the stapler pin is inside it it lies in the inner side than that of the effort and this is fulcrum which doesn't move so this way we can identify second class of lever where load lies in between effort and fulcrum if you are told to draw diagram of a lever then we will draw line diagram this diagram represents second class of lever and here it is fulcrum and effort is at another end and load lies between effort and fulcrum this is second class of lever and distance from fulcrum to the load this distance is called load distance and distance from fulcrum to the effort this distance is effort distance this is diagrammatic representation of second class of lever okay now looking at this diagram we are clear that effort distance is always longer than load distance in second class of lever because load is in the middle of effort and fulcrum that's why load distance is always less and effort distance is always more than load distance so if effort distance is greater than the load distance then what advantage of simple machine can be obtained in this case the advantage of simple machine magnification of effort and increase of speed of the work change of direction of force if a machine gives us at least one of these advantages then we can say that that machine is simple machine effort magnifies in a simple machine only when effort distance is longer than the load distance in the second class of lever effort distance is always greater than the load distance that's why it magnifies the effort but it cannot increase the speed of the walk to increase the speed of the walk load distance should be longer than the effort distance but here it is not because in second class lever effort distance is longer than load distance that's why the second advantage cannot be obtained from this second class of lever and third change of direction of force a simple machine can change the direction of force in the convenient direction but in this case direction of force is not changed without this lever if we had to raise this load then we had to apply force in the vertically upward direction but using this lever we are again applying force in the vertically upward direction that's why it doesn't change the direction of force so out of three advantages of simple machine it gives only one advantage that is magnification of effort okay this is only one advantage of simple machine which we can get from second class lever now what about velocity ratio we know that velocity ratio is the ratio of effort distance to the load distance in second class lever effort distance is longer than the load distance so the value of numerator will be more than the denominator so we'll get velocity ratio always greater than one these are important information about second class lever okay We'll meet in another class.